I just finished a workout at the gym and I've been shopping bananas and fruit as usual and I was I was really hungry I was my blood sugar was low I was I was pretty desperate for food felt not good you know how you feel sometimes when you have low blood sugar because it's been too long since you last ate and you pushed it really hard in the gym for example and you're just like oh my god I need something you know um, fruit to the rescue fruit to the rescue just like three minutes into my banana meal and I'm already restored uh, to 50% at least I'll eat some more bananas and eventually I'll be back at my 100% and you know that's one of the benefits with uh, fruit that it's so quickly to be absorbed into your bloodstream a lot of people think that think of that as a bad thing we want slow carbohydrates slow to absorb food but you know the truth is uh, fast food that's what it's all about uh, when I'm hungry I want my food to become me as quickly as possible so when you're eating fruit even if you're just got it in your mouth some of the sugars are already absorbing into your bloodstream under your tongue so we're talking fast food here um, but you know the thing is as long as you keep your fat intake low around 10% of total calories maybe uh, your insulin sensitivity is very high and insulin is able to get that sugar out of your bloodstream before it becomes a problem the problem is when people eat too much fat and then they eat a lot of sugar a lot of fruit whatever uh, the blood sugar tends to spike too much uh, you know it's supposed to spike when we eat that's that's sort of part of eating but it spikes and then it stays elevated for too long uh, the insulin isn't able to bring down the blood sugar as efficiently as it does for someone like me on a low-fat diet so that's something to keep in mind keeping the fat intake low but yeah I guess today I just wanted to touch upon that principle of fast food it's not only peel and eat that's fast food but it's also peel eat and you know it's already in your bloodstream it's already becoming readily available fuel for your cells um, starch needs to be first converted by our digestive system to sugar before it enters our bloodstream fat can take up to 24 even longer 36 hours to digest going through our lymphatic system and it's quite complex so you know and you're after a workout session or just generally in life if you want your energy levels to be sustained and you know you're hungry you eat and you're good if you want that to happen quickly and supportively to you know keep you going fruit is where it's at so you know the banana is like the ultimate um, I don't know ultimate fruit for most people because it's available everywhere it's cheap and you know it's got the calories that you need to uh, recuperate after uh, after exertion so check out our banana ebook about bananas how to manage them how to store them buy them ripen them all that stuff I'll put the link here and just stay carved up basically um, with fruit next time you're getting have some blood sugar low blood sugar hungry you know need something quick fruit is there for you immediately recuperating you putting you back to homeostasis immediately and you know if you're struggling a lot with these blood sugar things it was normal for me now because it's been too long since my breakfast and I've been working hard so low blood sugar it's just a sign I was hungry I needed food but you know uh, if you're struggling with sort of up and down up and down blood sugar roller coaster you better look into your fat intake because as I said fat interferes with the regulation of blood sugar so if you bring that fat intake down to about 10% of total calories you're gonna be much more able to have a stable blood sugar uh, all throughout my hemoglobin a1c levels which is tested on a at the doctor I do that about once a year or something my hemoglobin a1c are it's a perfect perfect score and that's a that's a sign that my long-term blood sugar is very stable even though I eat you know 90% of my calories from sugar 90% of my calories from carbohydrates at least all right so um, eat your fruit and um, all is good Thank you.